Hey guys, Fowler Rose here. Today I will be going over Superfood, a more in-depth guide than the one we currently have on our channel. And I will also be giving you some crafting or superfood and water ideas that I've uh, went through and either tested myself or troubleshooted on the wiki. So before you start to make uh, super food or super water or custom food or water, um, I think the wiki calls it a custom consumable, uh, you will need several things. You're going to want a mind wipe tonic to mind wipe your character. You want to put all your available crafting uh, or all your available uh, levels into crafting skill and uh, a focal chili. The focal chili is not 100% necessary, but the focal chili will give you an extra 100% crafting skill to the recipe that you are trying to make. Later on in the video, when I show you the recipes that I'm going to use, um, I will show you a comparison uh, with the focal chili and without the focal chili. Um, once you make these super recipes, or custom consumable recipes, you don't have to remake them unless you lose them, which is freaking awesome. Uh, I absolutely love that part. It makes it really nice when you're trying to advance throughout the game and you don't have to worry about your food and water keeping up with making cooked meat. Like we have these simple cakes right here. If you look at it, it gives me 81 health. It gives me 110 food and 8 stamina. I'm going to go ahead and take these out of here. I'll take this one out of here. And the spoil time on this is 1 day and 8 hours. So, versus cooked meat, let's see if I have any cooked meat here. Let me, so I'm on my Patreon server, which is why we have meat and stuff in our dead storages. This is S+. plus. So, cooked meat lasts 19 minutes versus the hour and 8 minutes for this simple cake. And that simple cake was used with raw meat. Normally, it would take you 5 cooked meat to make one cake, and I think this cake recipe have it over here in my bookshelf a uh, simple cake recipe and this was I think I had a hundred and five crafting skill it took eight raw meat so super easy to cheat or cheat super easy to craft um, the more levels you have to put in crafting skill the cheaper these recipes are and I'll show you on that graft as well I have it at level 50 and 105 um, I will link in the comment section below uh, the wiki article for this and it has a uh, spot in there where you can customize it, put in your crafting skill um, and whatever food you're trying to make. Uh, with the water, if you use it, it has the same spoil time. The water has the same spoil time as the food. So this lasts a while. This will stack up to 20 for both of these. Um, so if you don't want to carry a canteen around with you or the tech canteen, you don't have to worry about doing that. You can just carry these. The only thing that will really affect this versus carrying um, uh, cooked meat or a canteen is the weight. Uh, having this stack of 19 carrot drink here weighs 3 pounds or 3.04 pounds. The more resources that you put into these food, the more they're going to weigh. Just a helpful tip there, right there right there for you. Let me grab some eggs real quick too. So we're going to use the eggs when we go to make our recipe. So as far as stuff that you can put in these, um, I personally like to use raw meat. I don't think I have. I think all my raw meat's upstairs in my base. I'll go grab that in a minute. You can use raw meat, raw fish meat, uh, raw prime fish and regular meat. You can use mutton. Uh, you can use spoiled meat. I don't recommend it. Um, you can use rare mushrooms and stuff. Um, you can put all kinds of different stuff in here. I make my water for my uh, my super water uh, using crops because it's far cheaper than using um, berries. Uh, you can use narcotics. You can use stimulant. Stimulant, if you put that in your character or in your food, it will increase the stamina that you gain from it. So right here I have... My carrot drink gives me 138 water, but it only gives me three stamina. So if I put some stem berries in there, it would give me a lot more stamina. Um, you can also put raw meat into your uh, drink. You don't have to just have crops in there. 
Uh, if you put raw meat in there, it would give you more health, as you can see on this one right here. It only gives me 16 health. So I could put raw meat in here or cooked meat or whatever I wanted to do, and it would increase that. You can also alternatively put uh, like eggs in there. You can put kibble in there. Uh, or you can put element dust and element dust will increase the uh, increase the strength of the other resources that you're putting in there it will making them it will amplify it making them give more uh, let's say food or water whatever you're trying to do another thing we'll go ahead and see if I have some over here uh, I do so when you have superfood on your inventory in your inventory let's say this is my regular every day around the base food and this right here this gives me a thousand food 800 health and 150 stamina so if I wanted to put this if I wanted this to be on my action bar and I did not have that cake in my inventory or down here on my action bar if I transferred that out it wouldn't go down here on my action bar I would have to have this on my action bar in order for it to transfer there now it will transfer down there so these will separate themselves depending on the icon that is on the burger or on the <laughs> on the burger on the superfood um, just a, another little tip there for you and the same goes for the water so if you have one of these foods for boss fights you can as it makes it easier to separate as you can see here this one has more stuff in it I think I have the recipe over there in my uh, shelf this one weighs 18 pounds and it only has nine there versus this one being a stack of 20 and it weighs five pounds uh, let's look at that recipe for that uh, double cheeseburger I think I have it in here yeah so this is one moss chop egg one element dust and 80 raw beet if alternatively if you didn't want to put as much raw meat in here as this one has you could put more element dust if that's what you wanted to do this was created by one of the people on my uh, patreon server she was nice enough to give me this recipe uh, I think she made this when we were doing boss fight so we use this as a boss fight food um, it's also useful for missions and stuff on gen 2 the rate at which you gain this I think I think it's one one and a half points one point I think it's one and a half points every second but it will give you let's say it's one and a half points every second so with you gaining 1.05 points per second once your food maxed out your food would start decreasing from this buff it's if it still gave you additional health or stamina you would still get that bonus like this double cheeseburger here I would not get the full 1200 food from that once my food hit 100 my food would start decreasing again but I would still be able to gain the benefits from the health and stamina given from that double cheeseburger you cannot stack food buffs I cannot have a health buff from my cake and my cheeseburger at the same time and I cannot have a health buff from my let's say my cheeseburger and my super water um, alternatively you can have um, the cake and water buff active at the same time you can restore your food and your water at the same time but it will not stack the uh, health and stamina uh, just a little tip right there for you in case you guys were wondering that uh, going back to these recipes uh, let's craft some now I got some notes so you'll need notes for that let me go over here and grab some element dust uh, element dust withdraw we'll stack do, do, do. when you're crafting these recipes it does not consume the resources and you do not need it does not consume the resources when you do this uh, you do not need to have your cooking pot powered in order for it to create these recipes either you don't have to have wood or thatch or spark powder in there it will you can just make the recipe without it let me grab some crops too uh, we'll grab a hundred of that and Berries are upstairs also. Berries. Let's get some mayholes. So, and out of all the berries that you can use to craft with, the mayho berries are the best. Um, Azul, uh, whatever the A ones are, other ones, and Tinto berries, Amar berries, I think is the other A one. Um, those are the weakest berries to craft with. Then it's mayho, and then it is Karops. But let's go ahead and go over here 
we're going to use we're going to make one with zero points and a crafting skill. Base crafting skill is 100. We're going to put a note in. We're going to put 40 raw meat in. And we're going to click make recipe on the structure. So this right here up at the top, you see the little turkey leg or chicken leg. That is food or you can see this little soda thing and that will make it drink. So I'm going to make this food. I am going to make it all blue because blue is my favorite color. Might as well make it my favorite color. Who doesn't want an all blue cheeseburger? It just sounds delicious. And we're going to say 100 per, oh, that's 110%. 100% uh, craft. So that is the name and the description. You can make this description whatever you want. What I did when I was an official is I put a product plug in here. So I was advertising the uh, Arc Trade Federation YouTube channel. I put our Twitch, our Discord link, and a link to our YouTube channel in the food so people could, if they wanted to look that up, they could look us up on YouTube and come find us from our food, which I thought was absolutely awesome. I loved it. We even have some streams where people were commenting on it, but let's go ahead and craft this recipe. The only thing that this will consume is that note that I put in there. So there is my recipe. It will give me 40 or 38.5 health, 20 or food. It will give me 28.5 health and 3.5 stamina when we craft it. So I take that out, close out of my uh, cooking pot and open it back up. The reason why I do that, I don't know if you've seen it, but it sometimes spugs out and says there's raw meat in there when there actually isn't. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put a stack of citronella in there and we're going to make that recipe and we're going to make this water let's go 100 percent craft on this as well we're going to make that blue let's make that yellow and make that purple so now our water is going to give us 303 water 35 health and 7.25 stamina so let's take that out of there and as you can see it still shows that the citronella is over there and it so shows it over here. I just transferred a note in there and it's not showing up so that's why you have to close it out and open it back up. Let's take our uh, mind wipe tonic. Take that. Let's put all of our points into crafting skill. Oh, that's movement speed. Oops. Now I'm too fat. Forgot I had a tech suit on. Let's go over here. Let me make... Now, if you're on official, you have a 24-hour cooldown before you can do this again. On my Patreon server, I don't have a cooldown. So, make sure you keep that in mind when you're doing this. So let's mind wipe again. You want to put all your points into crafting skill. <laughs> so I got auto clicker here to put these points into my crafting skill for me. Uh, I set one up on my mouse just to make it easier for me to level dinos. And I'm going to go to 105 because that is what the max level is for a base player without your chibi or ascension. Okay, 104, turn my auto clicker off, 105. So my crafting skill right now is 1,140. So let's go back over here and let's take our 40 meat and our note and let's make another one. We'll make this burger. We won't make it all red. We'll just make some of it red. 1140% craft. And now let's craft this recipe. And that makes it with 500 food, 386 health, and 36 stamina. So we'll take that out of there. So we lost some of our citronella, so we'll just do 99, but this will still be OP. This will be ridiculous. You, don't, you definitely do not need this much if you have uh, 104 levels in the crafting skill. 1104% craft. Spell, help spell craft right. Uh, we'll make, uh, I don't want poopy water. We'll make red water. 
and blue cup. So this one is 4,332 water. Like I said, you don't need that many crops when you do this. Versus the 313 that you get with no crafting skill, with just the base 100. <laughs> That's great. Let's go over here and see if I have a more accurate one. Uh, yes, yeah, so this one right here is three long grass, and that gives me 300 and... Uh, or 138 and that's just three long grass. This is super cheap to make um, When you are making the water though, you need to keep an eye on your industrial cooker So I have this I have a hard line set up into water. So this is constantly irrigated um, And this is an s plus one. So it's more than the 1,000 irrigated that you get on the 1,000 water that you get on official um, if you did not have this set up with a hard line into water with an intake and all that pipes going to your industrial cooker, if you just had water tanks, it would uh, quickly deplete, deplete your water tank. So just keep that in mind. It takes, for this one right here, it would take 4,332 water from this uh, uh, industrial cooker here, from the water it has saved up and once it depleted and it's got back up to that point it would craft more and then it would stop while it waited for your industrial cooker to get enough water for it to craft another one so just keep that in mind when you're doing that having that ungodly high is not necessary all the time unless you're like you know celebrating something in the volcano on the island and you need that much water that's the only time you'd ever really need it but let's throw some kibble in here we're going to make kibble recipes doesn't matter the kibble that you have the recipes will be the same so we're going to name this one basic kibble let's make this one let's make this one a cake we'll make a blue cake basic kib 1140 percent craft let's make this recipe so our basic kibble will give us 197 food uh, it won't give us any health. It'll go 1.8 health, not not any at all, and it'll give us 326 stamina. So if you wanted to use kibble uh, instead of using stem berries, which you could do that, um, and you still wanted to get health from this, alternatively you could pair your kibble with raw meat. But let's go ahead and throw an extraordinary kibble in there. Give me that back, and we'll put another note in there. Make recipe. And what is it? Yeah, it's extraordinary. XT, Kib, and 1140%. And we're going to make this one a cake, and we're going to make it a red cake. So, extraordinary kibble, just like the last one 197 food, 197 food, 263 stam, 263 stam. They're the exact same. It just depends on the kibble that you use. So, if I wanted to make this cake right here I would have to have extraordinary kibble versus I wanted to make this one I would only need basic kibble so it just depends on the resources that you have around your base alternatively if I make a food using dodo egg so let's let's go with a cheese platter a cheese and fruit platter dodo do 1140 percent craft can't spell craft right, words hard. We'll craft the dodo egg. We didn't color it. So that will give us 71 food and 71 stamp. Let's go over here and so we're going to use a fairy egg craft recipe. Hello, Santa Claus. Uh, cheese platter. We're going to make the cheese blue, blue cheese. Uh, fairy. 11.40. Craft. Make recipe. Uh, blue cheese. Here it is. 71 food, 71 stam, 71 health. Just like this one. So it just depends on the eggs. Um, I highly recommend, and what I do is just go tame a whole bunch of dodos if you're wanting to make uh, uh, eggs or uh, superfood using eggs. Go out and tame a bunch of dodos. Um, one male and like 
10 or 20 females and have over raptor next to them set them up on a uh, slope and all the eggs will just fall down to you if you put the dodos on the slope and they'll all just fall down to you really easy for you to get if you were wanting to do this and you were wanting to use food for it. but that is eggs now let's take let's take our let's go grab some more raw meat i want to try with more raw meat. so we're going to try 10 uh what are all me? We're gonna try ten uh, element dust with forty raw meat. Ten element dust, forty raw meat, one note. Make recipe. Uh, Ellie dust, eleven forty percent craft. Let's make this recipe. Uh, yeah, this one. So that one gives me 613 food, 437 health, and 132 stam. Was it the red one? Yeah. So when I made the red food with 40 raw meat, it only gave me 526 food. So there is a slight difference in this unless you're making like really complex recipes I don't me personally I don't see a point in using element dust um, if you have a whole bunch of element dust you have it laying around and you don't care by all means use element dust or if you're making food for boss fights then use element dust I I don't use it I don't see a point in doing it I don't think it gives you a high enough return unless you dump a whole bunch of element dust in it that is me personally I know some people absolutely swear by using element dust in their recipes so I showed you all that and I have this focal chili so we're gonna use we're gonna make that exact same recipe but we're gonna use focal chili this time just to show you the increase focal chili will increase your crafting skill so it will raise it by another hundred percent and it only does it for superfood it does not work for blueprints just FYI but it will take this and it will turn it into 1240 so let's drink that we're going to put that back in there we're going to put our 10 element dust back in there and we're going to put our other our last note in there and let's make let's make a pink burger 11.40% craft and we're going to say chili make recipe so our pink burger now gives us 668 food versus our uh, regular burger without the focal chili that gives us 613. So the focal chili doesn't help that much, but you're going to make these recipes once and not have to worry about making them again until you uh, defeat a boss and you get an extra 10 or 15 levels. Then it would be worth making a, making remaking them. But if you only if you're only going to make them once and forget about it and never have to bother bother doing them again, I highly recommend using a focal chili. You have I think it's 10 minutes. Pretty sure it's 10 minutes for the timer for the focal chili to make it. So you can go through and make lots of different recipes for this. These uh, blueprints or recipes, recipe blueprints, whatever you want to call them, that you can transfer them cross server. Um, I highly recommend when you after you make them in your cooking pot you come over to your industrial cooker and craft them in there versus the cooking pot because this goes a crap ton faster uh, let me let me just make this uh, where it is I don't want that one uh, 40 meat yeah let's make this one so with me having S plus, I can just pull all this stuff in here. But I'm gonna pull the stuff to make a hundred. Look how fast this thing crafts. It's freaking fantastic. Now let me get the stuff to do it in the uh, cooking pot. And also with the industrial cooker, you don't have to worry about pulling water for the industrial cooker. You would don't have to worry about putting a canteen in there, which is a giant pain in the butt. But even if you were just making regular food, 
That was like making one every second or two. Maybe less. Let's pull. Let's make 20. Pull. Pull that out of there. Put spark powder in. See how slow this thing goes? A cooking pot will work. If you don't have an industrial cooking, cooker yet, a cooking pot will work. It's just going to take longer. So it's not a must have to have an industrial cooker, but it definitely does help. Helps out a lot. Um, you can use it on your dinos. It will not give health to them. And it will not replenish their food unless it's a gotcha. The gotcha will eat um, the food, uh, uh, the custom food. The gotchas will eat that. I fed it to mine. It does restore their food. It does not work on other dinos, but it will work on the gotcha. But it, the custom food will restore a dino stamina. So if you wanted to take, let me let me pull the stuff to make another another note. Cancel. Close. Let me pull some stem berries out of here. So I put my stem berries in here. I put my note in here. I still have my focal chili active. I still have my 1140 crafting skill. So I'm just making dino food right now. I'm gonna give my dinos a cake because you know why not spoil your dinos? Dino cake. And when I make these for gotchas, I just name them gotcha food. Um, but we'll go over that in a second. Let's let's make these first. 1140. I don't know. This is 1240 because it's got the chili on it. Uh, let's make cyan cakes. So this will restore 1100 or 11,000. God, numbers hard. 1,192 stamina to my dino. And it's at like the one and a half or 1.2 per, or point per second. Um, it won't regen it very fast, but if you were going through the Wyvern Trench or something like that or on PvP servers, this might give you a little bit of an edge to help you get away from people. Um, not saying it's going to be extremely effective, but it might help. You never know. If you're making food for gotchas, I don't think I made any in here. Uh, tier 4 cake, 40 meat, 20 meat. No, I didn't. So if you're making food for gotchas, uh, you could use, I would just use raw meat. There's no point in cooking it. Uh, cooking the meat does give you more of a bonus than raw meat, or the raw meat does. Let's go ahead and show you that real quick. Thirty prime burger. Uh, already made a pink burger. Let's make let's make a purple burger. Twelve forty crafting skill. Craft. So this gives eight hundred, which is more than the forty element or the ten element dust and forty raw meat. So these are better. So it gives 900 and something health, 944, versus the uh, 115 that this one gives. The only reason why this one's giving stamina, I guess we could go for this one. Where is it at? There it is. Okay, see this one's not giving that much stamina. So just the 40 raw meat is 526 food and 368 health. Versus this one that's giving 830 food and 944 health. So having that does matter. But if you don't want to go out and look for prime meat. Or you don't have the RCs for prime meat. It's not necessary. It'll work without it. No deposit. It'll work without it. You don't have to cook your meat. You don't have to cook the prime meat. You can use raw mutton if you want to. You can use raw prime or raw prime fish. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be cooked. Uh, the prime jerky and regular jerky have the same effect. The same goes for cooked meat and regular meat. Those two have the same effect. Uh, raw mutton is grouped with prime, uh, raw prime, and lamb chops are grouped with uh, 
cooked prime. So there's no benefit to having mutton over or lamb chops over prime. Oh, guys, something I forgot to add is that you can only make these recipes in the cooking pot. You cannot make um, you cannot make the uh, recipe in the industrial cooker. Once the recipe has been made, the blueprint recipe, once it has been made, you can craft it in the cooker, but you cannot um, make the blueprint inside the industrial cooker. Also, I think I said this earlier, but depending on the ingredients that you use will depend on how much the food weighs. The more stuff you put into it, the more it's going to weigh. Um, other than that, I think that's it for this part. Up next, I will show you the recipes and uh, go over a, a brief uh, overlay of the photos that I have for you for the recipes that I normally use and some that I came up with. Um, so stay tuned for that, for the recipes. I'll see you guys in just a second. So on this chart here, you'll see I have three different columns, the resources for the food, the stats given, uh, the quantity needed, the HP and water given for food or the uh, food stat given, and what it will give with and without chili. Um, the first page is level 50. This page is with 105 crafting skill. Um, the goal was to get 100 water and 100 food for this. Um, the bottom part of the graph is for uh, boss food or uh, mission food, let's say. And the bottom row is basically stamina food for your dinos with a goal of 1k stamina. Uh, I tried to include a uh, variety of different resources for this to make it easy for everybody to use for the boss food. Some of the resources weren't able to meet those goals, which is why I did not include them. If it took more than a full stack, I did not include them in there. I will put a link to our first superfood video in the uh, My Suggestions box. If you guys found this video useful, please like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.